Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, well, we have muscle car, not only muscle car, but Mustang royalty with us on this one. Dave, what's your last name? Dave Steiny. Dave Steiny. Now, Dave, you work on motors. Yes. And this is a motor, actually, that we're not going to start. And why is that? Uh, because this car is uh, strictly a show car. It was built to very high standards. Um, and the maintenance of the car by the time I put gas in it and antifreeze, it's, it's really all just about showing the car and keeping it as new. Now this car has received an extremely prestigious award. What was that? Uh, this car has received the Authenticity Award by the Mustang Club of America. And um, that doesn't give out very often. No, it's, it's only given out on special occasions. And this car, although you don't drive it, well, it's a special occasion. So step right alongside me. Okay. And let's take a look at our black Boss 429. Now, first of all, your car is absolutely striking. I mean, you can see, I'm going to try to stand right here, give you the silhouette of this car. And it doesn't get more sinister than that. One of the best looking design Mustangs with one of the baddest engines on the planet. And Carcraft put this one together just right now. How many black ones were there? Approximately 90. There were only 90. And the, I think I'll, uh, this almost outstanding part to this one is how many miles are on this one? This car has 7,034 miles. So let's open that up and show people. I mean, all of these are correct. Yes. Okay. And this is why, well, this one's special. Why did you have to have this car of all the cars in the world? Uh, because I just wanted a black, low mileage car. And this definitely Fit meets the bill. the bill. Let me go right to the side and show that. These are all the original car craft stickers. Most restored cars, they replace the stickers. This car, we, we did not touch any of the original stickers. This is it. This is it. This is the time capsule. Even to the point where I know what that is. That's your spoiler for the front, which originally came in a package. So yours is still in the package, like the back seat plastic seat belts. Un. Unbelievable. Now, I'm not going to put my feet in there, but I'm just going to put the camera in here. This is a brand new 69 Mustang. If you wondered what one looked like in 69, there you go. It looked exactly like this. All the tags. And this car is featured in the front of the muscle car in Corvette National. Let me just give you a second to pause on that. When you enter, well, you'll see this. I almost feel like this is like a uh, special mummy's tomb car. I mean, it's it's that unique. So let's take a look at the front of this. And that's as good as it gets. Showroom new in 1969. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? <laughs> the smog pump. All of the... I mean, how long did it... Okay, so when you found the car, how long does it take you to bring you back to this level of detail? I mean, how long did it take to reproduce this what we're looking at here. About a year and a half. That's not that bad. No. That's pretty good. But the parts that were used to build this car, 
um, as far as the NOS parts were accumulated over a period of about 30 years. Really? Mm -hmm. So you had these parts yeah. beforehand? The previous owner had these parts? Nope, the guy that, uh, that did all the work for storing this car, Bob Perkins, had all the parts. And he's, um, he accumulates parts for time. That's his job? That's his job. So when you had this car, you knew where to go? Absolutely. All the correct markings. So now where does this car sit? I mean, is it in a museum? What, 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 is it, what does it do when it's not sitting at the Muscle Car and Corbett National? It's in a climate control, uh, basically. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at the many trunk treats we have for this car. Let me show the tail. Would you mind if we close the hood just so we can get that look? Thank you. While we're closing that, I'm going to do this. That. And then we'll step back. The Boss 429 time capsule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's let's look at some of the trunk treats. And this car, well, it has many. So we've got the inflatable tire. So let's kind of take some of these out. The battery in the back, that was a car craft thing, right? Yep. Absolutely. And then what, what is that? Uh, that's the, uh, to protect the, when you're putting the lug nuts on, to yeah. protect the wheel from getting scratches on the wheel. Okay. It's and a wheel protector. And this is original boss um, manual. Original manual with the original uh, warranty card. This is the original headlight aimers that came in the car, so when the car got to the dealership, they could align the headlights. The, oh, an, the, an, the antennas were installed at the dealer, so... That's what's in the, that, it's in the bag? That's, that's the bag that had the original antenna in it. That's crazy. Like, so, even, even the tag here... stickers are original to the car. All the stickers are original to the car. Okay, so show me what we have here. You've got a great thing going for you. All right, so I also collect memorabilia and anything that pertains to 69 Mustangs. Yeah. So we're in Chicago, so this is the original nice uh, Chicago auto show, auto show uh, brochures and, and press releases for the 69 <laughs> Auto Show at Chicago. Um, and you've got the, uh, you know, just lots of brochures that were, the things that were given out at Ford um, by the salespeople. What is this one? It's just a brochure. They had the... Let's see what that has. The going thing girls. So Ford's slogan for 69 was the going thing. So they had the going thing girls and the going thing guys. And they actually had a record album, which we'll see here shortly. Okay, cool. So this is the 69 Mustang brochure. Another 69 uh, performance buyer's digest that was talked about all the different performance models that were available in 69. Let me just take just a moment so people can stop. Wow, okay. We'll go to the next one. There's another page here. Does it show your boss? Yeah, this is uh, some of the high performance parts that were available for the 69 model here. Okay. This is the sale, this is like a postcard for the 69 Mustangs to 
if you're a, a customer of Ford, they'd send these out to you, offering you to come into the showroom and check out the 69 model years. Um, Doodads and geegaws. Kind of a rare item of things that you could purchase or pick up at your Ford dealer that pertain to high performance and 1969 cigarette lighters and keychains and jewelry and jackets and <laughs> okay this is the brochure for the 69 boss 302 so everything here is related to 69s Very cool. this is the 69 boss 429 brochure here it is can we open that one sure let's take a look Wonderful, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's just let people take a moment there so they can read through that if they like. Okay, is there another page or is that the last one? Let me, let me just go over. I want to take my time on this one. And that engine, I understand they had to like bang the shock towers to get it in there. Yeah, they had to create special shock towers at uh, Dearborn Assembly in order to get the engine in here when it went to car crap. It's the only car that they use these shock towers on. Wow. Of course, I'm into Shelby's too, so this is... There's Carol with his car. With the 69. So the show here is all about 69s because it's the 50th anniversary. Yeah. Very cool. Look at the, the look at that artwork, right? Yeah, 69 accessories. Wonderful. This one's really rare. Um, it's the only one I've ever seen, but it pertains to newspaper ads that the dealerships could could give to the local newspapers, and then they could produce an ad for 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 the Ford dealerships. Cool. And then here's the uh, 1969 record album. The album. The going the, thing. Is that a 33 and a third? No, it's a... Uh, 45? Well, I guess I think it is a 33 and a third. So... Well, this has been just a wonderful trip down memory lane. We'll shut that. Dave, I am rarely speechless, but that was the most unbelievable memory lane car that I've seen. What an amazing vehicle you have here. I know you like to drive them, I like to drive them too, but obviously this is a very special car. And I appreciate you keeping it um, as showroom new as possible, as well as all of the great memorabilia. Thanks so much for coming out to the show, and thanks for being on my car, Steve. No problem. Thank you.